So if your carpets are looking like ours, looking a little dull, dirty, grimy, you might want to do something about it and, and like fast. And today, something for your home. Elizabeth is going to show us how to get the job done. We're in Lakeville. I'm with Brian. And Brian, I hear there are some dirty carpets in that house, right? There is, yes. <laughs> they called us out today to do a little cleaning. I think that carpet can get pretty grimy, and I bet you really can confirm this for me. Like, what are we talking about that you find in people's carpets? Oh, we see anything from, well, obviously dirt, soils, pesticides from, from the grass. Um, kids are bringing a lot, pets bring in a lot. Um, we've seen, uh, you, you know, uh, rodent droppings, stuff like that in the carpet. Ew. But Brian says cleaning all that up is rewarding, and his job is his passion. Sometimes when you go over to visit friends, you kind of, first thing you do is examine their carpet. <laughs> Don't invite Brian yeah. over for dinner unless you're prepared to get your carpets Rooms clean. clean. This truck is his office on wheels. It contains everything Brian needs to clean the carpets in Kristen Cash's home and just in time. Yes, and I have the, my in-laws coming in a month. And so I looked at my carpets and said, they can't come in looking like this. <laughs> we pre-vacuum first. It's probably the most important thing about a carpet cleaning process is, is removing the dry soil. And uh, through our vacuuming process, we remove probably 75% of the dirt that way. The next step is a hot water extraction system to lift grime. Depending on the type of carpet we're cleaning, whether it's a synthetic or a natural fiber, um, depends on the amount of heat and the type of product we use on it. And there's no need to worry about harsh and dangerous chemicals. We use all um, certified green products. Everything meets or exceeds the uh, EPA Design for the Environment guidelines. Uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, I have kids of my own, so I know that using safe chemicals is really important. My son's playing Legos on the carpet all the time, and I don't want him sitting in some sort of chemical that, you know, could eventually do some damage. So, and with the dog laying around, it's, it's definitely an important thing. After a couple of hours of work, the results are exactly what Kristen was hoping for, and it's time for Brian to pack up. Now, Brian, before we go, I hear that you hear quite often when you're out and about that you look like someone I know pretty well. Yeah, I do. Actually, a lot of viewers of your show uh, also say I look like John. Oh! So, not sure if I don't see the resemblance, but uh, I'll take that as a compliment. Well, you're certainly <laughs> as funny as John, I can oh, tell you thank that. You. So that's a good thing. Thanks yeah. so much, Brian. I was just going to mention to you what a great looking guy that Brian is. He's handsome, is. isn't he? My huh? goodness, he's a looker. <laughs> Uh, thanks to Live Clean for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. One more trick this uh, Brian shared with Elizabeth we got to tell you about. So if you have that red wine spill, you can actually use white wine to minimize the damage. Just pour the white wine over the stain and blot it with a white cotton towel, and then the stain will be diluted and lift out. So just get more wine. Yeah. Of course, that means throwing more wine in the floor, and that doesn't seem like a good idea to anybody, <laughs> does it? What are you doing with that <laughs> bottle of wine? Eh, just throw it on the floor. Live clean, live clean by the way.